and welcome to the Southwest Spotlight. I'm Janice Hernandez. I'm here today with Carl Chambers, who's the diesel mechanic teacher here at the district, who's going to tell us about an exciting program taking place. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. So tell me about this exciting pathway. Uh, it's a new pathway that we've created to help some of these kids uh, go through school and have a job lined up as soon as they graduate and to give them the skills that they need to go to work immediately and not go start a profession not knowing anything. So I know that last year we started a partnership with Holdcat, but this year's the first year for this uh, pathway, correct? Yes, this is the first year for the pathway. Holdcat started last year, and now that we have this pathway, we're gonna start specializing a little bit more to focus on the things that they're working on at Holdcat. That way they're more prepared when they enter Holdcat. Even though Holdcat says, hey, we want the students that are work ready and we can teach them things they need to know, but we'd like to teach them a little here too to help them go faster through the process. So yeah. tell me, the, the, that skill set, what is the demand for that? It's super high, I think. I think that the, the, the skills that some of these kids have, or it's actually a dying breed. You don't see a lot of people that can go out there and tear a motor down and build it back together or diagnose some sort of heavy piece of equipment, and that's what we're trying to teach them here to do. So what, is, what do you see from the students when they learn to do this? I mean, it, that must be really, you know, a process where they really are engaged. Yeah, we, we, they, it actually, the number one thing that I hope they build is common sense, and a lot of this is puzzle working with these motors, and I think it just builds a type of intelligence that, I'm not saying book learning is not good, but a type of intelligence that you won't get from book learning because they're going hands-on and they're training their hands to operate on a piece of equipment and teaching their brains to work that way. So um, any certifications involved? Uh, yeah, we do OSHA certifications and then we'll do some ASC student, their ASC student certifications, we'll do some of those. And then uh, that's basically the certifications we have right now. And I know I did speak to some of the parents about you know, their students being in this program, they seem excited too. Yeah, it's, it's definitely something that is really helping out with a lot of kids and I think that um, Eventually, they'll grow. It'll grow and get bigger and bigger, and then we'll have more more opportunities in here and more more opportunities to learn different things too. But like I said, this is the first year. As we grow and get bigger, it will definitely get better. Well, Carl, thank you so much for being on our segment. No problem. Thank okay. you. And thank you for watching the Southwest Spotlight. Thank you for watching the Southwest Spotlight on SWISD TV. For more stories, visit our website and like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Check out our other green screen productions and subscribe to our YouTube channel, SWISD TV. We are Southwest.